Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Okay, so I have no idea why I search on YouTube how to export video in Filmora 13 for YouTube and I cannot find my video. So it is very difficult for you to find my video also. You know that I am a search engine guy so I always want to have my video at search number one, two, three on YouTube when you search for anything about Filmora. That's the reason why I want to make this video. <laughs> Alright, so in this video, I will show you how to export your video using Filmora 13. Okay, so it takes about 5 minutes to learn the step here. It is super easy. By the way, before you want to export your video in Filmora 13, remember that you have to purchase a license of the software to export the video without watermark. Otherwise, it will have a huge watermark on the screen and it is annoying, okay? So you want to purchase the license of Filmora 13. Don't forget to check out my discount coupon code in the description, okay? So I always have 20% discount coupon code to save your money. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so first up, this is my project and actually it is a two hour project for my channel. So the first thing, if you want to export your video or export your project, you have to finish it first. And secondly, you have to log into your account. So for example, here, I have my account here. It is already logged in. So we can click here at the account center. So this is going to share Filmora account center. It will say about your account. So what is the license and also some other service here. So you have to log in to your account and then you want to double check your license first and then you can close it. So whenever you want to export the whole project, all you need to do is to click this export button. And you also have the shortcut number, which is the control E on your keyboard. You can press control E to go to the export tab. So next up, you want to click here, export. And then we have different options here. So the first option is local. So this is the one that I normally use and you should use it also. So you want to export the video and save it on your computer. That's why it is say local, okay? So next up is the option to export according to the device. So you can select the device here and then you want to select the device you want to export. So basically it just format the video or convert the size to your device size. So I think it is useless for, for me. By the way, you can check it out, okay? You have iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Apple TV 4K, iPod or Samsung Galaxy or all the device here, you can select it and it will format the video and make it, maybe choose the size according to your device, okay? By the way, I never use it. And there is an option to export your video directly to YouTube, meaning that you will use Filmora to export your video and save it to your computer. And then it will access your YouTube account and upload your video to YouTube. So normally you have to give access to Filmora or authorize Filmora to access your YouTube account. So I never do, do it because I think it's a little bit risky for my YouTube channel, okay? And next up is TikTok, so it is the same. You have to log into your TikTok account. Okay, Vimeo is the same. And the last option is to export and burn it into a DVD. I have no idea why we still have this option nowadays because normally I just export it and save it to my computer. Then I upload it to YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. I never export it to a DVD. But if you want to do that, it is possible to do in Filmora 13, okay? So let's go back to the local. So now you need to select the output setting. So it is very important here. You have to double check the setting to get correct final results, okay? For example, the first thing you want to do is to give it a name. It is a two hour block. So um, I make the name here two hour block number five. So it is not important for me because after the export, I can just rename it and upload it to my YouTube channel. Okay, and the next thing, you want to find a location on your computer to save the video. For example, here I create a folder named Filmora 13 export. So I always export to this folder. But in some cases, when I want to export a five hour or six hour video, I have to select my external drive because normally it would be 15 gigabyte or 20 gigabyte. So it is very big. I cannot save it on my C drive, okay? So you can select external drive here. By the way, I don't have the external drive connected to my computer. All right, and this is the location, okay? Just select it and then select folder. 
And next up, you want to select the preset. If you have the preset for your export, for example, here we don't have the preset, so we need to select Match to Project Setting. Because normally, when we edit video at the Project Setting step, we have to select the aspect ratio, the resolution, and frame rate, and stuff like that. And now, all we need to do is to select Match to Project Setting. Okay. Okay, for example, this is my Femora 13 start page. Before I create any project, I need to select my project setting. So at first, we can select the aspect ratio right here. For example, we can select 16 by 9. Normally, it is a widescreen video. If you want to create short or TikTok, Instagram, you want to select the aspect ratio right here. So you want to select 16 by 9 right here and create a new project. Okay, after that, you want to double check your project setting by going to this button, setting and change project aspect ratio. And here we have the aspect ratio and we have the resolution. You want to go with full HD, you can select 1080p right here. Or you want to go with 4K video right here. Okay, so this is the resolution. And for the frame rate, you can select 24 frames per second for a normal vlog video, travel video, cooking video. And for a tutorial video, you can select 30 FPS right here. Or for a gaming video, you can select 60 frames per second. Okay, so this is how you can change the project setting. And at the final step, you want to export the project according to the project setting so that is what i mean map to project setting okay and next up is the format of the video format normally it would be mp4 avi or mkv mov or stuff like that so you want to select the format of the video here normally when you want to upload to youtube mp4 is a good option for you okay just select mp4 and down here you have the resolution and the frame rate so just keep it similar to your project setting. And the next thing you want to do is to click the setting button because it is very important here. So you want to click setting and then you want to increase the bitrate number. Normally for a YouTube video, I would select about 10,000 kbps or 15,000. But sometimes when I produce very long video, I have to reduce the bitrate number to maybe 8,000 and sometimes it's just 6,000 or 5,000 because the file size is very big. It will increase the bitrate number here. Okay, so normally we can select 10,000. So this is okay because this is a two hour video. The file size is very big. And for the compression quality, you can select none or you can select high. It depends on you. But normally we can select none and the video quality is good for uploading to YouTube. Okay, for the encoder and channel stereo for the audio, you don't need to select anything. Okay, and then we can select apply. And if you want to create a preset for your YouTube video, you want to click here, save as preset. And then next time you can select just this preset and it will change every parameter for you. Okay. So now we can click apply. And the next thing you want to double check this option back up to the cloud. Normally when you purchase a license of Filmora, you have one gigabyte free Wondershare cloud, by the way. One gigabyte is nothing. So do not check this option if you don't want to get stuck when exporting. Okay. And the second thing is auto highlight. So this is an AI in Filmora that helps you highlight your video and cut your video in maybe three seconds or six seconds or stuff like that. But I never use it because it is useless for me. So you can also turn off this option too. And then you can select the export button, okay, to export your whole project. And it is eight gigabyte here and just click the export button and now Filmora is exporting your project and you have some option when done sound reminder shut down your computer or do nothing so normally it will be sound reminder okay and you can cancel the export here just close it and then click close okay so this is how you can export your video export the whole project but if you want to export just a part of the timeline it is also possible for example you can just press X on your keyboard to select a, an, a part of the timeline. So this is the in point and this is the out point of your project. So you want to just adjust it like this. A short portion of the timeline like this. And then you can click the export button. And now it will export only this part of the timeline. So you can do the same at the export window. Okay. Alright, so this is how to export your video in Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you like the video, just hit the like button. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Bye.
Bye. By the way, subscribe here and watch new video here. Related video. Okay. Why it's cover my face? <laughs> Bye.